Hey guys, I'm myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about features we're still expecting for Apple to release for the iPhone and iPads with iOS 15.3, 15.4, 15.5. So iOS 15.x, whatever happens from here on out, features we're still expecting. And these are going to be based on some of the features that Apple debuted and also demoed at WWDC earlier this year that we've yet to seen within iOS 15. So let's just dive right into this one. Now, of course, if you would like to to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and software updates, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next episode. Now, iOS 15.x and beyond, so 15.3, 15.4, and 15.5, whatever happens from here on out after 15.2, which is the current software, what features can we expect Apple to include with the next updates? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is iCloud Private Relay. Now, this feature here keeps your internet traffic uh, secure. Any traffic that is not encrypted, it keeps it secure. It also keeps your IP address private when browsing in Safari. So it's a really cool feature, but as you can see, it's currently still sitting in beta within the latest iOS 15.2 developer beta 3. So we can expect this feature to be released in the near future with iOS 15.2. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see this one hit the official release here in the next couple of weeks. Another feature that's still in beta Apple has brought back with iOS 15.2 is legacy contacts. So digital legacy where you can pass down your digital legacy to someone of trust. You can send someone a digital key where they can have access to your digital uh, legacy after you pass away. So you can go ahead and send that to someone. This feature has been re-enabled with iOS 15.2 Beta 3. However, it is not available yet to the public. So we can expect a digital legacy to be hitting our devices within the near future. Hopefully, again, fingers crossed on this one as well. Now, I also want to talk about IDs and a driver's license for the wallet application. This feature seems to be delayed over and over again. Apple started testing this feature here in the United States in several states, but Apple has now made it official. This feature will be held back once again so we can see this feature hit our devices in early to mid 2022 next year with iOS 15.3 or 15.4 down the road. Again, driver's license and ID features once again has been delayed. And now one of the coolest features Apple debuted at WWDC earlier this year was universal control where you can take a project across all of your iOS devices or rather your Mac and your iPad and your iMac and seamlessly just drag a project across all the platforms and it seems like magic and this feature has yet to be fully featured for iPadOS and macOS. I'm really looking forward to universal control again this is one of the coolest features Apple debuted at WWDC but has yet to deliver this feature for macOS iPadOS and hopefully we'll see See this feature in the near future. Now there's also some new emojis we can expect with the future releases of iOS 15. I don't know if Apple will initially launch these with iOS 15.2 or 15.3, but Apple is soon to be adding new emojis to the emojis on your iPhone. So expect new emojis to be dropping rather soon. Within the next couple of software updates, we're expecting iOS 15.2 to drop within the next several weeks here. And uh, it doesn't seem like Apple has added any emojis just yet but we still have a few betas maybe a gold master coming here shortly so we'll have to wait and see but expect new emojis coming your way with future releases of ios 15 and last but not least this one is more of a wish list feature and i'm hoping that apple will add the ability to update your airpods manually now i know a lot of you guys are hoping to see this sooner rather than later i think this is something that may happen with a major release like ios 16 in the summer of next year but i'm hoping i'm really hoping that this becomes a feature within the next releases of ios 15.x as i mentioned 15.3.4 or 0.5 before ios 16 airpods really need their own software options within the settings application let me know what you think about these features is there anything else you would like to see apple bring to the platform within the next couple of software updates thank you for watching this quick one and i'll see you guys on the next one Peace.